Chair recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. Zeldin, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week, I introduced legislation in the House to expand the PFC Joseph P. Dwyer Veterans Peer Support Program to the national level. PFC Joseph Dwyer was from Mount Sinai, New York, located in my home district in Suffolk County. PFC Dwyer served in Iraq and received nationwide recognition for a photograph that went viral showing him cradling a wounded Iraqi boy while his unit was fighting its way up to the capital city of Baghdad. Sadly, after returning home and struggling with PTSD, PFC Dwyer died in 2008 and left behind a young widow, Matina, and a two-year-old daughter, Megan. In 2012, while serving in the New York State Senate, I created the Dwyer Program as part of the 2012-13 state budget. Originally in four counties, including Suffolk, this program has since expanded to over a dozen counties throughout New York. The Dwyer Program is a peer-to-peer -peer support program for veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. The program provides a safe, confidential, and educational platform where all veterans are welcome to build vet-to-vet -vet relationships supporting each other's transition from service to post-service life. We were able to conduct 148 group sessions serving 450 veterans just within Suffolk. Since 2013, the program has helped over 1,500 veterans in New York State battling PTSD and TBI. With the success that we've had in New York, I know that if we make this program national, we will ensure that every veteran across America will eventually have access to a peer-to-peer -peer support group. With the VA reporting that an estimated 22 veterans a day commit suicide, this national effort is long overdue. We must ensure that all veterans across America receive the proper care they need and deserve. I'll be working hard to spread awareness of my bill, gather co-sponsors, and the support of veteran groups and mental health organizations from all across the country so that we can pass this bill as soon as possible.